Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 108. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. Hey, this is a great question. Someone asked in the context of finance, they were doing uh, interest calculations, and you need to know how many days are in a year, because sometimes it's 365, sometimes there's 366. So, and all you have is the input year, 2008. Now, we're going to look at two parts, and then we'll combine them to figure out days in the year. And it'll work for any year, and we'll test it. We want to calculate the last day of last year, and then the last day of this year. If we can do that, we can subtract the two as dates, because dates are serial numbers. And that will give us how many days are in the year. Now remember, the whole, dates are serial numbers. So if I type in 1 slash 1 slash 1900, uh, 1900, and go Control-1 format cells and apply general, you can see it's got the date format. Control -D. Oh, that's 1. That's, that's number 1. Control-Shift tilde, the tilde key is right below Escape. Control-Shift tilde is the keyboard shortcut for general. What if I typed in uh, 39,855? Control enter and then control one and apply date. Oh, 211, 2009. That's the number of days since December 31st, 1899. All right, last day of this year equals, and we're going to use the date function. The date function um, constructs serial dates from inputs like the year, we're going to say 2008, comma, if we type one here, that's January. But watch this, comma, zero. If we typed in one here, it would say January 1st, 2008. But if you type zero or negative numbers, it'll go backwards. So this is a way to get last day of last year. Look at that, 12, 31, 2007. Now let's get the last day of this year. Now we have to use the E date. The E date function is awesome. Um, in fact, I'm going to hit click here and hit F2 and then scoop this out because we're going to use this. Control C, escape. E date equals E date. That's um, like match.com and those places when you meet someone to date online. Oh, no, no, no. E date just, you give it a start date. I'm going to give Control V, that's the start date. And then you just say how many months in the future. So I'm going to put comma 12. Get, get this. If you type uh, minus 12, it will give you one year ago. Uh, positive numbers go forward. So since this is 12, 31, 2007, it goes exactly 12 months into the future. And it knows if you put the 31st of a month and you say go to February, it'll give you the 28th, not 31st. It's totally an amazing function. Close parentheses and boom. Oh, look at that. What's that? 39,813. Control 1. And let's, let's uh, go on a date. There you go. Now we're going to combine these two. And that's days in 2008. I'm going to um, click in this cell and hit F2 and then scoop this out, Control C. And you always got to take the later date and subtract the earlier date. So I'm going to click in this cell, equals Control V. Watch it. This is going to get pretty tricky right here. And then I'm going to scoop this out, because that's, that's the little part that we have right there. So I'm going to Control C. Very carefully click at the end and say minus Control V. And there you go. We got uh, one year from uh, the end of this year minus the end of last year. Boom. What? 1231, 1900. Hey, uh, that's formatting. Don't get tricked. So when you click in that cell and Control Shift tilde to apply general number format, and there it is, 366. Watch this. If you come up here and put 2007, you got to be kidding me. That is pretty clever. 2004, uh, 1985. Oh, look, that was 65 days. So there you go. That's the formula for calculating the number of days in the year. All right, we'll see you next trick.